Hey y'all, I'm Steve from Avenger RV Adventure. Today, I want to talk to you about putting something other than these stairs in this opening. So one of the things that you have to do to order the steps is you have to make sure you measure the frame of your door and the height from the sill down. So we've already done that. We got our steps in right here. So we're ready to go. Uh, we need to remove the sill plate on the inside here. We'll go ahead and take care of that. Uh, there is a flange that's, that's here. You have to make sure that that flange is folded under. And then there are two little uh, plugs that are right here on either side. Those plugs have to be removed so that you can proceed. So I'm gonna go ahead and take them out right now. I'm going to set them off to the side for the moment. Now there's two different ways that you can put this in. You can screw this to your wood floor using inch and a half screws that come with a kit, or you can bolt it through the floor using four inch bolts that come with a kit. And there is a plate that comes with a kit also that can be mounted underneath to help with support. So I'm only going to be using the screws. So one of the things they, that they tell you to do in the instructions is to remove your old steps. Well, I'm not doing that today. So for today, they're gonna stay in there. So I'm just gonna use the, uh, the small screws to put this in. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and remove the trim plate that's on the inside and you need a, uh, a Phillips screwdriver or a square head. So I'm going to go ahead and take care of that right now. Okay. So that's taken care of. Uh, make sure you save your, your stuff, your bolts, your screws that are in this because you may want to put this back on. And we're gonna take this set of steps and we're gonna put it up here. Now they do call for this to be a two person job. I'm a one person job person because I don't have help. So the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure that this is centered in your frame and you want to make sure that this plate is up against the outside flush and that this plate is against your sill flush. So you may end up having to move your trailer or your RV so that, uh, so that you can do that. Otherwise it may not sit quite flush. I have a hill here for my septic system. So I'm limited to what I can do right at the moment, but we'll go from there. Get the old tape measure. And of course the air conditioner is gonna kick on. Two and three quarters. Two and seven eighths.
All right, so we went ahead and drilled our two holes where the plugs were. All right, so the holes that are down underneath this plate are adjustable, they're oblong. So if you have to adjust this a little bit, one way or the other, you will be able to do that. It's just important that you put that down because you're gonna to have to flip this up in order to move on to the next step. Okay, so the next step, you're gonna to want to loosen these three nuts and these three or bolts I mean so that you can adjust where this hits the frame of your door so let's go ahead and take care of that right away and you don't need to remove them you just need to loosen them so that you can take this and slide this one direction or the other. Okay, so in order to take it down, loosen and close. So what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and try to remeasure this to make sure that it didn't move at all and maybe try and slide this whole thing over because I'm catching with this foot on the door up here. There you go. Works good now. So I'll go ahead and I'll put in the rest of the screws that go down here. And I'll get back to you. this down for now there you go that works how about that all right so we're happy with the door the door closes no problem with the steps down so that's a bonus uh, let's go ahead and take our little buttons and we'll put our buttons back in where we put our first two screws. Now here's the optional part, I guess you could say. 
Uh, some people do this, some people don't do this. So let's look at it. The original trim that was taken off the door in order to put this on can be placed back on. However, I have to look to see whether or not this center screw will fit. So let's go ahead and put this down, these up. We'll take our trim. And it appears as though it will fit back on there. Less the center screw because there's already a screw there for the steps. So we'll hold that off to the side. Yeah, this might be a manual jobby. Now, this, this is entirely up to you whether you want to do this or not. I look at it as though this way. If it's here, I'm not going to lose it. So, it's here, it's in, the door closes. I am going to take and put some uh, lubricant on these so that they will retract a little easier as you close this because to me they should be they should slide right back in no problem without having to turn turn the handle so I'll take that it's a job well done and of course the thing about these is that you have legs that you can adjust with difference in height of the ground if you're on an offset site or something like that so we'll take care of that um, and again our main reason for doing these steps is because of the dog because she has issues going up and down these steps uh, the old steps because they're too small and they move and they make her feel a little uncomfortable and I get tired of picking up an 80 pound dog so this works for me. Take it one step at a time. And uh, for now, I'm Steve with Avenger RV Adventure. Remember, life is about learning. Remember to like, subscribe, and share this video out with your friends because you never know who might want to install some steps. It's a pretty easy job. Uh, shouldn't have too much of an issue doing it thanks again and for now we'll see you out there